Hello and welcome to HXGN Live. Uh, I am your host for today, Adam Goldfarb, and I'm pleased to be joined on the cost control couch by Kristen Bergerud, who is uh, Ecosys co-founder and executive vice president for uh, industry strategy. Welcome, Kristen. Thank you. And uh, so we're going to be talking today about project controls and uh, how it delivers value to, uh, to customers, organizations really around the world that uh, owners, operators, uh, EPC firms that are involved in, in projects. And so um, before we jump in, Kristen, I'm hoping you can maybe give us a little bit of insight into um, what are some of the trends that you're seeing on capital projects today? Sure, so, so it's a very interesting moment in capital project investment around the world. As, as you know, the, the, the world is, is becoming more globally connected, and uh, part of the, of the impact of that is that the investment in cap, capital projects in infrastructure around the world will double. It'll actually double in just 15 years, that that's huge. investment, every single year. So that's, that's a great thing, especially if you're in project controls and looking to make a career of it. Right. <laughs> uh, at the same time, it brings some, some interesting challenges, which are somewhat new. So you have uh, global projects that are increasingly complex. You have uh, tremendous uh, impacts on businesses that are pressured to develop new business models, and so they're forced to, to move into different technologies that are brand new to them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's in the context of aging infrastructure around the world, as well as an aging workforce that has expertise in this area. So positive, but also very, very challenging at the same yeah. time. It sounds like, you know, is there, um with all this complexity around projects, how, I guess the question is, how well controlled are they today? Not so well. <laughs> I saw a stat just, just yesterday, it said 98% of projects, large-scale capital projects, yeah. you might call them mega projects, are uh, over budget and behind schedule, schedule 98%. It's, they said that 80% of, pro, uh, of projects have, have major cost overruns, and uh, the, the cost overrun, in fact, is 80% of, of budget. Yeah. And on the schedule side, the, the typical overrun is 20 months behind schedule. So <laughs> that's, that's amazing. I mean, and I guess that's sort of where project controls comes into play. Um, maybe you can tell our audience a little bit about project controls in general, what the discipline really is trying to do. And a lot of times we talk about enterprise project controls. Mm. And so what, what takes you from regular project controls to an, an enterprise perspective? Sure, so project controls is, is a, a sub-discipline within the project management space, right? So we're, we're trying to deliver projects uh, quickly and, and on budget. And so what that looks like for many, many organizations is they are first just trying to get a hold of what's going on, on, on a single project or on many, many projects, right? So that's, what was our original budget? How does that compare to what our, our initial estimate was? Uh, what's our current budget after yeah. we've had numerous changes to that, right? Uh, what have we contracted out? or subcontracted out, uh, what's our actual spend today, and, and are we actually achieving what we thought we would yeah. as of a given time? So that's the basics of project controls, right? And most organizations in the world, as evidenced by those stats, are not there yet, even just understanding that, right? right. But then the, uh, the kind of the holy grail, the, the, the really uh, um, forward-looking uh, aspect of project controls is forecasting, mm -hmm. right? So it's um, can I forecast where we're going to go from here on the project, uh, not just on gut feel, but on having all of that information at my fingertips, trusting and believing in it. Also knowing in the past on similar projects, did, uh, how did we perform from here on out? Right. So that's, that's the essence of, of project controls. Now, some of our customers who have achieved that over the past years with, with our system and with their, their business processes, now they're looking around and they're saying, you know what, we have a treasure trove of data at our fingertips and we believe in it and it's, it's demonstrating success on our projects. What else can we do with that, with that information, right. right? And so that's where you get into true enterprise project controls where you're marrying up this day-to-day -day tac tactical information with the strategic side. Right, your, your five-year capital plan for your organization, your dynamic portfolio optimization across all of your projects. How do we shift from uh, one set of projects to another based right. upon a change in the business direction or based upon budget cuts okay. or a number of other factors, right? right. So it's, it's doing strategic planning, but 
based upon confidence that you actually know what's happening. And if, if there's delays in one area, we can respond accordingly. That's phenomenal. Um, you know, is it difficult to achieve enterprise project controls? Like, <laughs> how, how have people been doing that uh, thus far? Uh, yeah, so it's, it's certainly a challenge because yeah. the, the part of it is organizational. Right. No matter what technology you apply to it, yeah. uh, you need to have an organization that's committed to doing so. Yeah. So in, in order yeah. to really kind of build um, support for taking on this initiative, um, is, are there particular benefits that you could you know, sort of communicate to senior management to get them excited and say like, hey look, you know, this is what, you know, there's real value to be realized in, in taking an enterprise perspective on project mm -hmm. controls. It's not just something for the guys in the back room to crunch numbers, it's, it, there's real value to be realized here. That's, that's, that's a really excellent point because if, if you're working on a single project, you understand the project controls uh, space, but often the, the executives, in, in many cases, they, they're maybe not quite so intimate with the day-to-day -day on project controls and they don't quite understand, well, why, why was this delayed? Who should we fire? Right. You know, that, that kind of thing. They get and, involved when it's too late. <laughs> when, yeah, when... yeah, yeah. Which is a great time to start an enterprise project controls <laughs> initiative is after a tremendous failure. <laughs> uh, but what we find is, is that uh, Project Management Institute, for example, they, they recently did a study and, and they showed that uh, the failure rate was somewhere around, hovering around 50% for projects that were not closely aligned to corporate strategy, mm -hmm. right? So. One inference from, for that could be if the executives aren't paying attention, probably not a lot of other people right. are as well, and it's less likely to do well. Yeah. And so uh, the, if we take an enterprise project controls perspective, yeah. and if you get that executive sponsorship, the benefits are they, they just write the, the business case for you. Right. Uh, we've, we've, looked, we've done a ton of research, you and I and, and yeah. others in, in our team, at, at uh, what the industry is saying, industry experts, as well as our customers and uh, people everywhere, everywhere around the world. And, and we're seeing statistics, for example, that change management alone can influence your project costs up or down by about 12% if you yeah. do it well, right? Uh, the, the contract management side of things, there was a study recently, about 9% improvement in cost performance just through better enforcement, understanding and execution of, of contracts, right? So, so there's real financial benefit to Huge. be realized. Yeah, yeah, so uh, that's, let's be super conservative. If you, if you improve your billion dollar project portfolio, for argument's sake, by 1% by eliminating projects that are less strategic or consolidating them with similar projects, if you uh, improve your contract management processes, uh, achieve just a 1% increase in, yeah. in how that's handled. Change management, 1%. Uh, you know, these quickly add up. We're, we're finding very, very conservatively that four or 5% of your port, port, portfolio spend can be saved through, through better enterprise project controls. So back to that billion dollar portfolio example, that's a lot of money. Yeah, no, it absolutely is. Yeah. And, and so I, I think a focus of, of cutting these unnecessary costs, you know, eliminating this waste, grant, you know, adding efficiency to the system, well it, seems, it seems like the type of thing that, uh, <laughs> that a, uh, an organization should be interested in. Yeah, yeah, so there's, there's the, the efficiencies, and that's the project controls team alone. One of our, our customers, an EPC firm, they, they, they determined that 61% of their project controls staff's time was spent on what they called wasteful activities. So yeah. this is fixing errors in Excel. This is consolidating Excel files. Being all, mired all in this things. manual processes. Yeah, this of, is before ecosystem, yeah, right? Right, right. Yeah, <laughs> of course. But, but that's over half their time. And, and this is in a climate of tremendous competition yeah. for those resources. Right who are part of the aging workforce and retiring, right? Yeah. And, and so the project controls efficiencies are one thing, but then uh, if you have the right system and the right process in space, in, in, in space, in, in place, <laughs> what that's going to do is it's going to extend far beyond that. So yeah. the executives are going to be on the same page as the project team, the, yeah. the contractors and the owners have visibility into what's going on, the contractors yeah. and subcontractors, everyone in the, involved. Uh, has is benefiting from these efficiencies. No, that's that's great. And so so let's, let's kind of take this from the conceptual of, of we've got executive buy-in. There there's a momentum in, in trying to improve the way that we operate as, as a project-driven organization to you know really sort of accelerate the the engine for revenue. How do we go about executing and uh, you know or, or realizing the promise of, of enterprise project controls? 
how do you realize the promise? Well, I think you need to start somewhere, right? And so often that's the, it's the basic blocking and tackling. What, what's our biggest, our biggest pain point? Do we just, uh, do we struggle to even compare the actuals coming in from the accounting system with what the what what it says in the schedule, right? Yeah. What what the project controls people are budgeting and forecasting. Can yeah. we just bring that together and create visibility? Just by achieving that yeah. can be extraordinary, right? If, yeah. if for the first time ever you can look across your entire organization and you can slice and dice and look at it from really any dimension. Yeah. What's our workforce utilization? What's our our spend? What's yeah. our revenue, our, our margins if we're, if we're yeah. contractors? Uh, are we picking the right projects? So, so yeah. just those basic blocking and tackling can yeah. give you tremendous, tremendous value, right? Yeah. But that's just the beginning. Then, then we can iterate into where we can get a bit more strategic. Yeah. Where we, you know, so a couple examples, uh, uh, aerospace and defense contractor we, mm -hmm. we work with. Yeah. What, what they've done is they've taken not just the active projects, but any project they think they might win in the future mm -hmm. as well, right? And they, and they put that in there. And so, so they're really able to look at their entire pipeline of, yeah, of yeah. projects and, and know where they want to expand yeah. effort and yeah, where where do we focus yeah. exactly right? Uh, and there's example after example of that is is uh, getting strategic value and vision enterprise wide yeah. or a large university we work with uh, not only looking at their whole capital plan for all of their facilities and and uh, R and D work yeah. but also. They provide a dashboard to their finance team, yeah. which will analyze debt service costs. And well, should we, should we, and should we use debt to pay for this, or, or some other, use the endowment, things, yeah. things like that. Yeah. They depreciate all of the assets and determine is it still worthwhile yeah. if, if we apply those, those analytics, yeah, things so, like that. Yeah, and so you've, you've alluded to customers of ours. They're they're using ecosys EPC enterprise planning and controls. Yes, um, and so that's you know. We call it an enterprise project control software. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you can just tell us a little bit about uh, about the software itself and, and how um, how that's you know continuing to, to help customers realize sure. this realize the, the the enterprise project controls dream. Yeah, the, the dream. So so Ecosys EPC. Uh, we founded Ecosys 15 years ago, and we're lucky to join Integraph and, and Hexagon just just last year. And uh, we came from having designed and developed uh, another well-known software system. It's, it's now owned by Oracle Primavera, their, their P6 scheduling system, sure. which is an enterprise scheduling software system for, for projects. And we learned a lot from that about how to truly build enterprise software. Yeah. So uh, we also learned from all of these customers we'd worked with for decades, right? And so what we built a system that en encapsulated industry uh, best practices for project controls so that you turn it on and you can benefit from you know, the Bechtels of the world, uh, the, the, the leading operators and, and owners and utilities and oil and gas and transportation and all of this, right? So you start with those best practices. Yeah. And, and it's used by the, the leading global EPC firms that really, really know projects, right? So right. if it works for them, it works for everybody else as well, right? right? So you start with that, but we recognize that if you take a utility, you could have a nuclear refurbishment program, highly regulated, right. multi-billion dollars, and you could have fence repair programs, right? Still a utility and still a project, but you wouldn't want to apply the same process. So Ecosys is, is really unique in that it, it allows you to uh, tailor and apply the appropriate standards for different types of work, right? right. So hopefully with our Excel look and feel on the web browser and mm -hmm. mobile devices, it's, it's very accessible to, to every project stakeholder, but it applies just the right level of standards, right, right. that are appropriate for, the, for that type of project. So we, we give you this, this flexibility and this power, but in a really easy to use web, web platform, right, that gives you visibility by anything you can dream up, any kind of project attribute or resource, uh, we, can, we can analyze the, the information. No, that's, that's great. It's, it's the built-in expertise. It's the flexibility to really engage in the processes that, that make sense for your organization, and then that, that visibility to drive that efficiencies that we talked about earlier. Um, that's phenomenal. So I, I think we're about out of time, Kristen. Okay. Um, I, again, I appreciate you, you coming on board. If, if you'd like to have uh, any more information about Ecosys, please visit our website, www.ecosys.net. And uh, thank you for spending the time with us on Hexagon TV today. Uh, once again, uh, I'm Adam Goldfarb, your host, and, uh, and have a great day. Thank you. Thanks.